Hi guys, I'm Austin. I'm here with Brad to play a game o magic for you. Um, <laughs> was that funny to you? I, I didn't think it was funny. But, uh, <laughs> there are different types of funny. This was unfortunately funny. <laughs> Small little tidbit for you guys. Uh, you're supposed to be watching Brad play Casey uh, in a, what's it called, Wizard's Tower? Is in it? a matchup where we played with Casey's Wizard's Tower. Uh, <laughs> it went really well for me. Did not go so well for the uh, video file. Brad, Brad uh, did win, but um, unfortunately we do not have that uh, anymore as the uh, data was deleted by me. Um, the gods uh, felt and, it. And to be, to be clear, not all of the video is deleted. The GoPro that we have right here, you see my hands waving, uh, was fine, and the shot of Brad was fine, but the shot of Casey was missing. So if you would like to see Brad... <laughs> <laughs> Even Brad doesn't only, want a video only of shots. Brad versus Casey without Casey. He's the only thing that makes it watchable or sexy or palatable or tolerable. I know lots of good words. Uh, so uh, uh, we're sorry, and we will get you that game. We will, we will make them have a rematch, and hopefully Casey <laughs> beats Brad in the rematch. Um, <laughs> um, uh, but what we have for you instead is the uh, dual decks. Um, we I, so I am frustrated by constantly losing by playing decks that are unevenly matched. So we went out to get some evenly matched decks. Um, yeah, you you lost in Marin <laughs> versus Marin because they were unevenly matched. Hey, you weren't well, outplayed hey, at all. I don't have reanimate in my Marin verse in my Marin deck. It's a Marin deck. I, it should have. The, to be this, fair, this it is should what I have with. reanimate, but I don't have it. And so, never mind. Whatever. All right. Which one do you want? Or well, we're gonna you... roll dice for it. So we have oh, mine okay. versus might is the dual deck. We would do yes. an unboxing, but they were already unboxed and sleeved before the video began. And I'm just gonna have Austin roll a d6, and we'll do one through three. We'll get him mind, and four through six, we'll get him might. And he rolled it on. <laughs> Come on, man. One. One. Mind? Enjoy mine. All right. The mine. That's the one I wanted. Yeah, that's good. I might beat your. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, that was clever. Why aren't you this clever in the show? Uh, I have to go by the <laughs> script. <laughs> Man, that was, that was another good zinger. Brad Castillo, everybody. Funny when the. Wait, I guess the cameras are rolling. <laughs> no, never mind. Whatever. This doesn't count. You're you're being yourself. Uh, I love having the support of my uh, director and writer and friend, Austin, at all times. It's true. It's true. Hopefully, he always, he always has my support, both my support and the bra that he's wearing. Yes. Support. Well, I should. I mean, <laughs> but right now, the underboob sweat in 100 degree Las Vegas it's summer. It's hot. Or in Los, Los Angeles, Angeles summer. right now, yeah. guys. Um, I know some of you may live in places that get cold, but Los Angeles is not one of those places. Well, not now. So you have Speaking of, of not getting cold, hopefully some of you guys got to run into Austin and I at the GP Las Vegas. Hopefully all of you got to play against Austin in drafts means you did really well. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if you faced me. I tended to win most of my events. I, uh, I won but a it was, draft. Yeah. And, and I won a few games in drafts, but I only fully won one draft. I did lose a lot, and I don't... Yeah. For those of you that are baseball fans, you know what the Mendoza line? That's batting 200, winning one of five. <laughs> Austin would have to more than double his win rate to get to the Mendoza line next time GP Vegas comes around. <laughs> I don't know what that means. means I'm going to assume it's an insult, though. <laughs> means you, you won one out of more than ten drafts that you took part in. All right. Five, six, seven. Shall we roll to see who goes first? Yeah, let's do it. That doesn't count. Uh, five. Uh, it's better than a... No, nine. It's no, really, it's really not. Better than a nine. All right, so I will be going first. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'll keep mine. Sure, why not? All right. <clears throat> I don't really know what this deck uh, does. <laughs> Stole so. the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, literally the first time I've seen any of the cards in this deck were just now when I dealt them out to myself. Um, on the upside, I do not need to mulligan. Cool. And uh, if Austin gives me the go-ahead, we yeah, will, we will begin. Yeah. I am already beating Austin because I am going to play a Rugged Highlands. Enters the battlefield, tap, taps red and green, and it gives me a life. 
I will pass turn. Cool. I'm going to draw my card, and <coughs> I'm going to play the old Swiftwater Cliff. So I'm going to gain a life. Woo! So it is 21 to 21, guys. Yeah, this play-by-play is not going to get boring at all. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to play Mountain Pass. All right. Let's see here. Let's let's just drop a Goblin Electromancer. See Ooh. how that flies. Go ahead. All righty. Card that I have seen before. I'm going to play a Forest, and then I'm going to play a Relentless Hunter. Relentless Hunter is a 3-3 three, three human warrior that for one a red and a green gets plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. Can't see that having much of an effect early game. What's that? Get it. Draw. Ooh, I thought that I knew what I was going to do, but now I have other plans. Uh, Jory N, Ruin Diver. Go ahead. That'll do, pig. That will do. I'm going to tell you, this might deck has some big, brutal, bruising stuff that is not cheap to cast. <laughs> but if I survive long enough to get there, oh, I'm going to get there all over his face. I, I'm going to go to attack. Cool. No so, blocks. You are going to take four, my friend. Yeah, I am. 17. Pass turn. Uh, yeah, I, I like uh, slower playing, though. Uh, I find it... Uh, I can get plus one, plus one. Interesting. Um, we're going to play another Cliffs. I'm going to go to 18. Whoop, whoop. Um, hmm. I'm going to swing in for four. I'm going to block with my face. I'm going to okay. 17. Cool, cool. Tie, tie that game back up. Except the year at 18, because, you know, math. Oh, yeah. Um, <coughs> man, I have so many. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Nivix Cyclops. Pass turn. Uh, Incender Sorcery uh, gets him plus 3, plus 0, oh, and he can attack as though he did not have Defender. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Similar to, uh, what is the, the elusive spell fist from, uh, uh, what was that? Look Fate at you Reforged? referencing cards like you know how to play I, that. All right, I'm going to go to attack with my Reckless prowess. Hunter. Um, you can pump and kill my guy, therefore I'm just going to take it. No pump, go to 15. 15 it is. <clears throat> and I'm going to pass turn. Ooh, passing with all that open mana. Is it? Is it because he... Does not have a play, guys, or is it because he has a play and intends to flash it in and destroy me? I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to think it's because I have a lack of respect for my opponent, but the truth is I don't. I just tease Austin. He's a good draft player, and when we're playing with decks that we're, neither one of us are familiar with, it's kind of uh, just as much in his wheelhouse as mine. I'm going to pass turn. Whatever shenanigans you've got up your sleeve. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm not falling for him. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and destroy your Nivik Cyclops with five points of direct damage, uh, and then this gets shuffled back into my library, unless you have a counterspell. <coughs> uh, nope, he's dead. All right. Uh, yeah, beacon of Destruction. The guy with Defender. Yeah, the guy that gets out of control strong, you use like a giant growth on him, and all of a sudden <laughs> you're swinging in for eight points of damage. All the giant growths that I have in my red-blue deck. Touche. That's what you're supposed to say to that. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are a big touche. <laughs> All right. If you would please cut. You knew what I meant. Oh, 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 oh. Just, Don't look under the table. Just put those anywhere. Uh, As Austin's sleight of hand cheating antics begin. Got it. Draw for turn. <laughs> oh, my friend, you are in for stuff. Let's let's just kill your Electromancer with two points of Sorcery Speed Burn damage. Two damage. See, the way I figured, if you didn't have a pump spell to save your Cyclops, you probably don't have one to save your Electromancer. And if you do, I would have saved the Cyclops because I still have a pumpable 3-3 that gets Trample 
that you're not going to block. <laughs> Although, if you had something to flash in and kill him now after that little cocky comment, that would have been pretty rad. Stuff is happening! Kill him. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> that is what we call a play mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to pump him, and I was like, nah, I'm just going to kill him. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, that's... <coughs> I played a card that I should not have. He uh, may have tipped his hand a bit prematurely there. Yes, in fact, I did. Uh, so I'll take three? <laughs> or did you want to pump him? No, no. <laughs> you can go ahead and take three. We're going to put him down to 12, and we're going to laugh our butts off. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, so two. I am going to flash in Beast Attack. Creates a 4-4 green beast token at instant speed. And then I will block with my 4-4 beast token. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Bye. I feel his name. Uh, Spellheart Chimera. The Chimera. Equal uh, the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. So it is an 0-3. Okay. No, no. Oh, it's about to be a 1-3? I'm going to kill your guy, yeah. Look at him, he's learning! See, if I hadn't swung with Jory N, though, I could have gotten a card. It's a bummer. Yeah, well, at least we planned ahead. Uh, pass. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and tap six. I'm going to play Kamal Pit Fighter. He's a 6-1 with haste. That Tims, but he taps to deal three damage mm -hmm. to a creature mm -hmm. or player. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that Chimera. Mm -hmm. You didn't want that anyway. No. And then I'm going to beast you upside the head for four. Yep. And knock you down to eight. Eight it is. <clears throat> and we're going to pass turn. This is my cat, but he's not invited to play the game. Many are like it, but this one is his. Um, what? <coughs> oh, interesting. Uh, okay. So, we're going to... Ugh. <laughs> it's the overwhelming confidence that really gets me about Austin's I just, play. I don't have... Yeah. I'm going to grab a uh, Rift Bolt out of my graveyard, put okay. it back in my hand. Knuckle V, it's a 4-4 four, four thing that cool. gets me cards from a graveyard. Go ahead. <laughs> Alrighty. So... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to flash back Firebolt for five to deal two damage to your knuckle and then three more damage from Kamal for a total of five. He's dead. And I'm going to knock you down to four life. I'm at four. <clears throat> and I'll, oh, just for fun, I'll put out a one, one that you can't block. Oh, actually, it's a two, two because of bloodthirst. So because I dealt damage to Austin, pretty much like every turn in this game, uh, he comes into play with a counter on him. So he's now a 2-2 two -two that um, cannot be blocked by creatures with less power than it has. So you can't chump block it. Cool. Go ahead. This is bad news for me, guys. Bad news. Yeah. I don't see how I get out of this one. Oh, no, I'm not done. I'm okay. not done. First, I'm going to kill that guy. Yeah, don't do damage to the 6-1. Then I'm going to kill the 6-1. Cool. What are you going to do about the four points of damage? Uh, that one's going to kill me. So uh, I will concede. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this one could get online, but it just did not. Um, good game. I feel like your misplay 
really, really definitively screwed your chances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really should not have attacked with Jorian in that, uh, that Well, no, no. It's, you should not have said, oh, I'll just kill him now, instead of responding. Because you would have taken out the creature that just kept chipping away at your life. And uh, yeah. in the end, that life ended up uh, going away quickly. And yeah. those of you that watch episode two know that, that you deal damage and then you win. Make sure that you watch uh, the next episode that's coming out tomorrow. Um, Brad will not be in it, Best unfortunately. Best reason to watch ever. Um, but we're bringing back a couple of people that you may uh, find familiar. Uh, John Mahondro. Uh, Ryan. You know what else? He's lucky that we had video difficulties because the game where John and I played Legacy True. and my elves beat his Maverick also lost. <sighs> yeah, it's true. It's true. There were two games that got lost and it, one of them was a game of Legacy between Brad and John Alejandro because they both play Legacy. Uh, and the other was uh, the, the Wizard's the Tower top. between Casey and Brad. Brad won <laughs> both of them. Um, and has gone on a long winning streak where no one seems to be able to beat him in any of these video the games that we have been doing. I would love to flex We're- and say that this is because I am a legitimate magic expert. It's just because I play with wonderful people who have more stuff going on in their lives and pay less attention to magic. Don't That's worry. more of an insult than a brag. <laughs> like you're, you're like, I don't want to brag, but I'm playing against bad players. That's... <laughs> That's just being a jerk. Um, anyway, uh, honest. John Mahondro is back, as well as should we? I guess let's not. Another another person that you will be excited to see. I think uh, is back. You see, you're giving it away. Well, you anyway, can, you can edit this. I, yeah, I will have to now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, watch it, check it out, like, subscribe, stuff. Oh, and definitely. Keep paying attention to the bonus features because today we sent out prizes to the people that won the first giveaway that we posted here on the Snow Stories channel. We gave away a Savannah to Kyle Kovac, I believe was the name of the winner. Also sent out a bunch of signed fogs from the wonderful Casey Jackson who plays Steve and a bunch of signed goblin tokens from Connor Marks, the star of our show, who plays Jason. So we will be doing periodic giveaways because we really appreciate all of you supporting us and, and giving us so much positive feedback and, and we want you to know and understand and recognize how much it means to us. So do stick around, subscribe, tell your friends, please. This really means a lot to us. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That what all of the things that he said and check out the episode tomorrow. So see you guys later. <laughs> Take care.